Now today I'm talking about perception in parenting and why it's really, really important. Hey everyone, welcome to my video for this week. I'm Miranda, if you didn't already know that, which I'm sure you probably do. Now today I'm talking about perception in parenting and why it's really, really important. Something that I've talked about a lot here, a lot in the past three years that I've been running this space is um, observation. So that's really, really important as well. Okay. But some of that comes into perception. So what I want to talk about today is about how perception can help us as parents. All right. And can also help your kids a lot. Okay. So there you go. That's why I'm talking about it because it's so, so important. So what even is perception? Okay. So I'm talking, what I mean by perception today is that we are able to look and able to sit back and have a little look at what is going on in our family. What are the relationships between person A, B and C and all the other people? What are they like in our family? Okay. If you're a family that has got one child and two parents, that's you know, that's great, but there's going to be less interactions, obviously, or less people to think about than there is if there's a family of seven, right? Yep, fair enough. That's okay. But what you can, what we need to do, what all of us need to do, regardless of how many people are in our family, is be aware of what each person brings to the table and how they interact. Okay, so I've lost count of the amount of times that I've heard parents say, the older one annoys the younger one or the younger one annoys the old one or whatever it is. Yes, that is definitely the case. Sometimes in my family as well, always the case. And sometimes I annoy the kids intentionally, you know, just as a bit of fun and they take it really badly. So it's the same. All right. It's the same situation. But what we want to do with perception is actually be able to look at what's going on and go, oh, is there a change that needs to be happen to, needs to be happening? Okay, excuse my English. Is there a change that needs to happen? Or is there something that I'm really, really proud of? What are you seeing in the relationships between your kids, between yourself and your child? Okay, being showing perception doesn't just mean just seeing it. Okay, I suppose it does. Perception means you're actually able to see it. So for me, you need perception in order to be able to enact change. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago as well, something similar. Okay, so enacting change you can't do until you've realized that there's a need for change, right? So if you never take the time to sit back or never give yourself the time to sit back, take a breath, look at your family, what's really going on with that person? What's going on with me? Why am I, you know, going nuts at everything? What's going on with me? What's going on with my partner? What's going on with my child who, you know, is really, really grumpy all the time? What's going on with them? Because for instance, they could have something medical going on. They could have like a UTI or they could have, my son's been up half the night with sore legs. You know, if you can see the bags under my eyes, he's been up half the night with growing pains because he's growing because he's three and he's getting taller. If I wasn't aware of that and I don't bring that, if I didn't perceive that, and I didn't bring that into my understanding of what his behavior is going to be like today and have a little bit of softness around that, then that can be really, really hard for him. Okay. It's hard for me too, right? But if I don't have a little bit of love and a little bit of understanding that, you know what, it's going to be really hard for you today because you've been up with your legs aching all the night. Okay. Perception is important for parenting because it perce our perception can change regularly, but you have to actually intentionally look for things to change regularly. Okay. So perceiving is very, very important in your family. I challenge you to do a bit of a, um, what did I call it? A little family relationship health check. Okay. Sit back, have a little think about it. It can take you like five minutes. Like it doesn't have to be anything really massive. Okay. I'm talking about in your own head. You sit back and just go, you know what? How has that kid been going lately? Have a little think about it. How have they been mentally? How have they been physically? Have they had lots more energy than usual? Have they been sleeping okay? I wonder if they need to have, you know, more iron or I wonder, you know, have they been showing any signs that they're running out of energy or that they're not getting enough sleep or that they need more you know, need more exercise because they've got so much energy all of a sudden. Are they having an, a, one of those hormonal like rises or dips? You don't, we don't know all this stuff, but being aware of what's going on for our children, especially when we've got more than one, 
means that we can start to go, oh yeah, I can have a bit of flexibility with you. I can still have expectations, but I can have a bit of flexibility with you in this circumstance. Okay. If we don't take the time to stop and go, oh yeah, that's going on for them. We can get caught up in our, we need to get things done. We need to get things sorted. We need to make sure they eat their veggies. We need to make sure that they're, you know, doing their mindfulness. We need to make sure they're doing all these things and we need to make sure they're playing and doing tummy time, which is massive amongst babies. Wow. I can't believe how worried people get about tummy time. We need to do it, but wow. Anyway, we, we can get caught up in all the stress and the things we have to do and we can't actually go, you know what? This is another person. They've got stuff going on. We can help them. We can be aware of it. We still need to maybe do a lot of that stuff, but if you can do it alongside them, with them, helping them, because you've taken them the time to actually perceive and have that perception over what's going on with your kids, it makes it so much easier, okay? Because you're actually doing what we need to be doing as parents, and that's being aware of what's going on for your kid, not just whether they've eaten all their broccoli today, okay? Um... So my two questions for you today, basically, uh, what are you proud of with your kids? When you're doing your little sit back, think my little perception, little health check thing. When, when you do that, think, what am I really proud of, of that, for that child maybe, or for myself or for my partner? What am I really proud of? Okay. This is something you might like to tell them that would so make many people's day. Okay. You can tell them how proud you are of them. Think of one thing for each child and your partner and yourself that you're proud of. Yeah. That's so good. Do that today. Oh my gosh. Do that every single day. That's amazing. And it's so, so uplifting and motivating and connection building. It's super, super helpful to relationship. Okay. And your own relationship with yourself, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. So think about something that you're proud of for each person. Okay, and another thing, what do you want to change? Now, I'm not talking about goals, about, you know, I want the kids to be tidier. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what do you want to change yourself? What do you want to do in the family dynamic? Okay, now this is not something you need to do every day, all right, but hey, you might sit back and go, you know what? I want to make it, mine personally, I want to make it so we never have phones at our tea table. All right, most of the time we don't, but sometimes we do. So I'm like, all right, my little challenge for this week is to make a little sign that says for me, for my husband and for the kids, not that they have phones yet, but I want to make that a rule for our family. And we already sort of have it, but I want to make it really, really um, significant for us. So that's, that's my little challenge this week. That's what I'm going to change. And we're just going to start changing the language around phones and things like that and technology, especially in the middle of lockdown. Okay, so that's something that I want to change. What do you want to change with your family today? Do you want to go, you know what? I can see that my child needs more energy expulsion, which is happening regularly with a three-year-old boy as well, can I just say. Okay, what am I going to do? Okay, I want to take my kid to a park or kids to a park once a week if we're able to. I want to take my kids for a walk twice a week. Okay, you might already do those things. Um, this is not obviously not for you. This is just something I'm coming up with. But you might like to change that something, something to do with their exercise. You might like to go, you know what? We're going to cook something together once a week. We're going to try and read a story. We've just started reading books like chapter by chapter each night. Always wanted to do that and haven't always. Anyway, you can choose what you want to change in your family. Add a little positive change in there. I challenge you to add a little positive change today. Drop down below. If you're watching this, I'd love you to drop in the comments of what your positive change might be. What are you proud of with your kids? But what might your positive change this week be in your family? Okay, this could be giving your kids, you know, a significant hug every morning. It could be in lockdown, sitting down every day with one of your children or, you know, one each or whatever, and actually going, you know what, let's play cards. Let's sit down, let's do, let's build a card towers. That's what we were doing the other day. Let's do something. Let's come up with something together. Okay, play together. My masterclass coming up in a couple of weeks is all about how to actually play with your child. Okay, come on. We're in the middle of lockdown, especially if you're stuck home with your kids. It's hard. People don't want to be in lockdown. People don't want their freedom taken away, but we're here. So come on, let's do what we can to make it a good time for the kids to remember as much as we can. Right? Anyway, that's perception in parenting. Perception in parenting is so, so important because then you can see where you want to change. You can see where you're proud of your kids and yourself. And both of those things are interchangeable and go together. Okay, there you go. 
Have a wonderful day, everyone. Have an amazing day. And I hope that you are able to play with your children today.